I might break him. I might break him. I'm leaving early, potentially. Feel bad for leaving early. I don't need anything to me. It's not being strained. I'm leaving. I don't know what time it is. I'm going to be locking myself in this room for 100 hours. It all starts Monday at 10 o'clock a.m. Welcome to my new home. What hours do you think it might get awkward or difficult? I'm guessing day two would be, is going to be the weirdest. I'm guessing about day four I'd be used to it, but maybe I'm wrong. I, I'm totally spitballing here, I have no idea. Um, how many days are you doing this? It's, not, it's 100 hours, so it's like nine, it's, you know, 96 is four, to four and then plus four, so. I get out Friday at 2. <laughs> Good luck. This could be like, <laughs> this could be like the biggest like content like disaster in Barcelona Street. The most boring, well, lifeless there, thing ever. Are you going to be able to see the numbers of who's actually watching? No idea if it's a hit or a so bomb or people Friday hate it. No one watched no it. No idea. And I'll be like, yo, remember we had 300 concurrence at one point. Back. <laughs> Fuck. Or they'd be like, oh, people like that. I have no idea. I have no idea. I have no idea. Well, I don't think he'll see a person no, I won't while see. he's in there. There's a voice of God if we need to communicate with him and like tell him to do something. But even the food to be dropped off behind the door, I, I won't see it. And they'll let me know if food's there. I'll pick it up by the time I pick it up, he's gone. And I'll just leave my tray and leave my trash. And then I won't, I won't see him. Yeah, I mean, any communication is going to be through me talking to the camera and then in theory, the voice of God. But I don't, I don't even know how often that's going to happen. I get a baseball encyclopedia that only goes to 2006 because that's when they went out of print. Notebooks, pens, uh, oh, tungsten cube. Oh yeah, the cube. I have a cot. I don't have a pillow because convicts, I guess, don't have pillows. A convict reached out to me, said they don't have pillows. So I guess what they do is they take two hoodies and tie them together. So I'm doing that. So no pillow, unfortunately. Um, I have a bathroom. It has a, a a toilet, a urinal, which is useless, and a uh, a sink, but no shower, of course. I would love to trade that urinal for a shower. Um, so I won't be showering the next four days either, which sucks. I mean, there's stuff growing in the urinal. I know. The bathroom is. From the, saw. The bathroom has a nice like, it's it's kind of like a built-in torture. It just has like a drip, oh, a water a drip, drip. Yeah. That you'll hear. The urinal drips. The urinal constantly runs. Is there like a panic button or like anything for you to like? I mean, I can walk out anytime, and that's important. People know that. I can at any point in time leave if I want to. Um, yeah. But if I do, I, the challenge is over. I lose. So I. Technically, the door's not even closed. It's just blankets. It's blankets, right? It's blank, moving blankets that I screwed into. I can't the, see. Yes. I can't. It's, there is soundproof. I can't see or hear any of the blankets are black, obviously. So I won't see another person for 100 hours. Um, so these are the last spaces, unfortunately, that I'll see. I'm fascinated with what, like, solitary confinement. Could I keep myself entertained? I always thought I could, and now I have the ability to try it. We'll see. But I think I can do it, but if I can't, I expect to be humiliated. Publish it in two minutes. Okay, I'm gonna go out. All right, boys. Right, yeah. God bless. Know, let me know when it's pushed out so I can go. Five, four, three. Clever. Yes. Welcome to solitary confinement. Thank you. For the next 100 hours, this room will be your home. Also, I have to let you know legally, you can leave this room anytime you want. I can leave whenever I want. If you do leave, though, the challenge is over and you lose. It's 10 o'clock. Okay. You're on your own. Good yeah. luck. You can leave whenever you want to, I guess. All Let's right. go, boys. All right, people. He gets nothing if he does it. There's no prize. <laughs> it's just, I did it. <laughs> he leaves. Uh, scale in a cell? Is that what we're yeah. calling it? Scale in a cell? Oh, is that where? Should go well. I feel like these type of streams are doing well now. People are jumping on the, on the wagon from the success with uh, Jersey Jerry's stuff. So, see how it goes. There's only like one event planned for today, I think every day. He really might go crazy. Right? I wanna watch him sleep and see if he gets boned up. It's kind of funny, I think I might be the only person that's done close to 100 hours solitary. I went to jail once and their thing was you had to do solitary for the first week, so I did, I think, four full days. So I've done pretty close to what he's done in like real jail, and it was fucking awful. I think he'll last 100 hours, I don't think he'll tap. Plumber's pretty like, he know he wants to do this, I think he'll do it. It's not good that he's sort of already cracking. <laughs> it's been 14 minutes. The first challenge is there's a puzzle called the impossible puzzle. It's got irregular shapes and like a bunch of edge pieces and stuff. 
uh, he's gonna have to do the impossible puzzle with oven mitts on. So the impossible becomes even more impossible. <laughs> 10 minutes in, I had big concerns for Clemmer and his sanity. Uh, right now, his biggest mistake that he's made is not completing the puzzle. He chose to fail it 20 minutes in. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna enjoy my time here. I am choosing not to, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do the other minutes. I'm gonna put together the normal way. And if I face that penalty, I'll find myself fine. Uh, that puzzle would have eaten up like 10 hours of his day and just kind of gave him something to do. And now he has nothing to do, so he's writing songs and banging on pipes and throwing tampons into toilet rolls. Toilet paper, throw the tampon in the toilet paper. <laughs> like he's using everything he's got in there to entertain himself and we're, we're two and a half hours in. What's he got to, I don't get what, him giving up, like what's he got to do? <laughs> Sit there for yeah. a while, take some time off. Also, what's he doing now? He's get, this is like, he's getting calm tap. <laughs> How long can he do that for? Dude, he's <laughs> wasting all his bullets. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> all right, bro, bro, they smuggle people in this way, like no cap. How would I do? Yeah. I'm out of there in an hour. <laughs> hour, I'm done. Without a phone, done. Is he allowed to uh, pleasure himself there? <laughs> it's gonna know. be on fucking camera. It's a great question. So he can't use a blanket and cover himself? That would be insane. <laughs> the fact you were even thinking well, about somebody's that. watching at four in the morning. And yes. Like, yeah. Yes, there will be. <laughs> even if there's a chance. What are you talking you about? Hundred. I'm not pleasure myself. No. <laughs> He's talking to sock puppets. It's been four, four hours. Four hours in. He's lost his mind. This man's doing sock puppets four hours in. <laughs> He looks sick already. He looks physically ill. I know he kind of already looks like that all the time, but I'm saying real, like he, his skin is gray. He's been in there for four hours and 13 minutes. His skin is gray already. I mean, he always does look gray to be fair. That's what I'm saying, like, yeah, that's right. He always kind of looks sickly, but he looks extra sickly right now. <laughs> four hours. It's translucent. I'm actually worried about this guy now. <laughs> he does look like a person in a casket right now. <laughs> like. <laughs> At my grandma's funeral, like that's exactly what she looked like. <laughs> Four hours in, and Clemmer, no offense to him, he was already like pale as a goose going in. He looks transparent right now. It looks like he can just see right through him. It's four hours in, he's doing sock puppets. And I love Clemmer, but he's done. <laughs> he's gonna tap. I, I said that he wouldn't tap like six hours ago. He's four, not even four and a half hours in. He's already like, he wants to take a nap. I think he taps. He doesn't make a hundred hours. You would think this is 90, this is the 90 second hour. 94 hours he has left. He's so fucked. Uh, Dakota Johnson and Madam Webb. Urban Meyer with the Jacksonville Jaguars and uh, France in World War uh, II. All right. Opening the envelope now. Things that put in more effort than KFC at the Combine. Yes. Yes, thank you. Thank you, yes. Dinner time. We got chicken and rice and Clemmy's nighttime soda. <laughs> put him right to sleep. Feeding time. Mm. Clemmer's in bed. It is 9-11. It's 9 o'clock. He's done for the day. But 
whenever Clemmer fell asleep, he had to get his punishment for not completing the puzzle. And that was Frank singing Akon locked up on loop. It'll play for five minutes every hour on the hour. And it's kind of brutal. It's very loud. I'm locked up, you won't let me out. I'm locked up, you won't let me out. I'm locked up, you won't let me out. No, no, I cannot go. I'm locked up, you won't let me out. I'm locked up, you won't let me out. I'm locked up, you won't let me out. No, no, I'm locked up. Morning. I unplugged it. I'll plug it back in the morning. All right, so the Frank speaker has been unplugged, so we're going back upstairs to plug it back in. But we had to be very quiet. We're going shoes off. Silent stealth mode. Never felt more alive. So I think I plugged it in. I just tried to jam it in there. All right, we're hitting Clemmer with a locked up. This might be this might be his breaking point. He fed up and now he's he's back down. All right, good. There you go. Now, now we work. We earn the trust back. He didn't get up and unplug it. So it is 9:53 a.m. We are just about to approach the 24-hour mark. He'll have spent one day in solitary confinement, so he's about a quarter of the way there. I gotta say, tech people, this. I think I was very fair last night when you guys had the three announcements. That was good and too much. And then someone came in the room last night, because I unplugged the speaker. Someone came in the room last night, plugged the speaker back in. Which means that is not solitary confinement. You guys should not be doing that. Luckily I was asleep, I did not see it, but that is bad. I plugged the speaker back in and I said, this is a truce, let's not have a war. And you guys did not play it again, so I appreciate that. But, this is not about sleep deprivation. This is, I gotta wash my face again. This is about, Solitary confinement. Clemmer is saying this isn't really solitary confinement, it's sleep deprivation. But rewards, challenges, that's not solitary confinement. But I, I'm more than fine just letting him be in there for 100 hours and just kind of follow him around. But then you don't have those like clippable social moments that get people to tune in. Did you see him unplug the speaker? I did. I, some, some might say that's cheating. In, in real solitary confinement, you don't have that luxury, but granted, they also don't do things that, uh, that impact, what is it called, the Geneva Convention? <laughs> They also don't do little of torture in jail as well, so, <laughs> I don't know. Look, he has a fair point. It's solitary confinement, that's what he agreed to. He didn't agree to Guantanamo Bay torture methods, so. I see his point, he's obviously frustrated. It was also very funny, so. I don't know, kind of evens out. Uh, we told him going in, don't touch the speaker. Like, if we wanted to, we could lock it in a dog cage and like put a lock on it, we talked about doing that. But we said, hey, we trust you not to touch it. The song was longer, but I, sh I shortened it for him just because, I mean, the man does have to sleep. But you gotta have a punishment. You gotta have a little bit of something to make it, make the challenge worth doing. I did suggest if he doesn't, like, win a challenge, I go down and waterboard him. But they said that's too much. I would rather be waterboarded than yeah. fucking Frank on, like, repeat. He's locked up. They won't let him out. He didn't have to listen to me. He had, if he would have completed the puzzle, he wouldn't have had to go through that. He quit. Did you enjoy watching him listen to you sing or did you feel bad? No, that was funny. All right, we just passed the 24 hour mark. We're gonna give Clemmer his second challenge, which is key number four, counting rice. Challenge two is now available. The key is for logger number four. Rice, a whole bunch of rice. I like rice, I have rice for dinner. <laughs> Count every grain of rice in this container. All right, let's play ball. 
he'll have a, a bin of rice and he has to count each individual grain he'll have until breakfast tomorrow. Do you have any idea how many or no? Got an idea. See, this is doable. It's annoying and sucks. It's stupid. But it's like doable. All right, guys, let's count some fucking rice. That's 600 pieces of rice. So now I start to question how possible this is to do. If, if Clemmer doesn't punch me in the face the second he walks out of that room, I'd be shocked. I'd be shocked. I think he will. I would, I would completely understand if he did. That's 5,000 grains of rice. I am going on strike. I'm not counting another grain of rice until you tell me how long I have to do this. This is just, this is too much rice. I think you guys fucked up. Like, this is 5,000 grains of rice, right? I'm not even being a bitch, I just don't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've been doing this for hours. I'm not, like, I'm not even like really, I haven't really done it yet. If you guys punish me for this, that's on, that's on you guys. You guys made this, uh, this insurmountable task. I cannot explain how frustrated I am watching this Clemmer stream. I need to even turn the volume down because I can't listen to his fucking complaints about how he was given a certain amount of time to count all this rice and he has spent more time calculating how it's not possible to count this fucking rice than actually counting the fucking rice. I didn't think I was gonna watch this stream and start hating Clemmer, but I think that I might hate Clemmer right now and I'm dead fucking serious. So he says he's on strike. He says it's an impossible amount of rice to count. 28 hours in, he's losing it. So like, yeah, you can't give in. This is, he's losing his mind, which is kind of the object. Yeah, so I shouldn't say, hey, you haven't. No, oh God, no. no. Oh God, no. Oh, no, I, I think we're watching exactly what we want to happen. So why does he keep trying to control the stream that is supposed to be five days of Clemmer without yeah. control over anything? And right. I, think, I think that's kind of what he's not realizing while realizing it also. Like he, he's not in yeah. control. Yeah. yeah. Why is he acting like he's trying to he's trying to test you to see how much control he has? The fact that he can unplug the speaker is a big. I hate that. He is he is for sure gonna hate me, even though that's like that's gonna happen. But right now, I kind of hate him. Like he's being such a little whiny bitch, and I'm tired of it. He's definitely losing his mind, but he like won't admit that he's losing his mind. Like he's just blaming everything on this. He's like, you guys are stupid for this. Like this is a dumb challenge. It's like no, no, no. It's exactly what it should be. You just don't want to do it. I don't even want to let him out or tell him when it's over. I want to see how long he can go. Like, imagine it's been five days and it's like 20 days. Well, I gotta say this, if he snaps, I can't be in the office. <laughs> if he goes postal, <laughs> I can't be anywhere near him. Motherfucker just wants to sleep. <laughs> hit the 48 hour mark. Clemmer has officially been in there for two full days. Granted, he's gone to bed at like 9.30 each night. Yeah, I mean, he's literally in solitary confinement and he's doing probably what I would do in solitary confinement, which is nothing. I would sleep 12 hours a day and I would just wait till I got out. It was funny, they were saying over there like, we thought he was gonna go insane, but it seems like the people running it are the ones going insane. Did you prank the hog if you did it? Oh, that's a good question. No, I mean with the cameras, no. Uh, you got a bathroom. Oh, then yeah. You gotta, you gotta get the poison out. At least once a day. Well, yeah. I don't know. I would try to probably hold it and be like, because I, I would be freaked out that they would have like audio in the bathroom or something. Because you can't let freaks like Vibs get a hand on you, on you like audio of you jerking off. <laughs> we get the audio of him jerking off, and then at night we just play it on loop of him jerking off. <laughs> That's, this is what I mean. Yeah. This is what, you can't let that happen. Now, I also don't think I'm that audible it's when so I'm scary. doing it, but it's like, just, just, yeah. just, just the end, baby. <laughs> yeah, I would. I would. But I'd be scared. I'm beating off. Yeah. But you know it'd be tough if you're mid beaten off, you hear Frank the Tank's voice, locked up. <laughs> I'm locked up. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw his tweet. He, he said, stop streaming Clemmer, keep him in there, cut the stream, it's too boring, let him think he's still doing it if he wants. All right. So cut yeah. the stream, cut the yeah. stream. Okay. We'll go down and cut That's it. from the boss. Yep. All right, then he could just stay in there. All right, Dave just tweeted that this was extremely boring. He sent a text to Gaz saying, pull the plug. 
but leave him in the room so he thinks he's streaming. We are now officially pulling the plug on the stream and just leaving Clemmer up in the room. We're down. We're done. It's over. <laughs> he said just make sure that when he does come out on Friday or whatever that we have a camera there and let him know that they've cut it. And Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, we're going to keep running cameras though so if anything happens in there we have a clip. Yeah, but he's, yeah, the streams are all down. Thanks. Yeah. In other news, Clemmer's stream got cut. Uh, I'm against that. Yeah, I feel bad for the guy. Uh, yeah, no, our boy's just in prison now. Like, he always wanted... <laughs> he has no idea. I still have to feed him, yeah, I can't. I can't let him starve in there. <laughs> like, that's crazy. So, is there any thought of telling him? Because I think that's what people are like, oh, this is so mean that he's not being told. Yeah, no, it's super mean. <laughs> that's <laughs> something else, man. So. Should have done the fucking challenges. The downfall to him was not doing the challenges. Should have should have counted the rice. I, I'm upset. I was a big fan of the stream. It was which, a nice which part. Uh, I like the part where he put himself in a suitcase. Did he sleep for 11 hours last night? Maybe longer. <laughs> that's a lot of. I, I'm not even stream aside. That's a lot of hours to sleep. Is yeah. he okay? I think that's just what his species does. Yeah. I can't have people who've never heard of Barstool like tuning in and the first thing they see is Clemmer just sleeping like forever. This is a live look at what all you, and yes, we still have it, I can monitor it, but it's so boring and so uneventful and so disgusting to me on a content. This is what all you Clemaholics are missing right now. Look at this funny, the, the fucking skinny little fucking alien to sleep all day. This is what you want? Look at this fucking shit. This is all, this is a live fucking look at what, oh, we want Clemmer, we want Clemmer. This guy is just fucking sitting here sleeping like a loser, not doing anything, and you Clemaholics in the streets trying to make him God. I won't have it. Hey, bullshit. Hey, if you don't like it, go over to Clemmer stream and watch him sleep. How about that? Yesterday was the best day ever on Twitter, literally the funniest day ever. Hashtag Clemmer. He was trending for like almost three hours. I just, I feel bad for him. I'm watching him on the back end on HQ right now and he's just like, he has no idea that the world has just been turning and, and Clemmer has been trending and he has no idea. No one's watching no. Clemmer. I'm so sorry, no one's watching you. I think that we should absolutely still be airing it, no question. Uh, but I, I feel like part of this is Clemmer's fault, so I can't feel too bad at the same time. This is like, well, forget it then. If you don't like any of the challenges, then, you, then that's so you're bad. on your own. That's so bad. That's so bad. <laughs> but to be fair, like, he wouldn't, he no, wouldn't even, like, totally. make something fun. Like, that's my big problem is, like, I keep talking about this rice and he's counting this rice. He could have counted that rice and he could have been, like, no one actually knows how much rice is in there. It's just he could have made to, like, a freaking do number. something about it and, like, you know, maybe throw it. I don't know, be creative about it. And he just refused to do it. So that's why I was, I've been hating on Clemmer. How many people are like, I want to be in solitary confinement. This is my idea and have a bad attitude about it. No, it's crazy. That's, what, that's what's so crazy about it for me, but I want to keep watching it. What do you think Clemmer's going to do when he gets out? I think, well, now that like all of this has happened, and if he was only down for one day, I don't think he'll care. But if he doesn't go back on until he's out, I think he'll be mad and then realize that like he got more attention than he ever would have gotten in the first place. Afterwards. I don't think he will ever be the same. So basically, Clemmer's now doing this for nothing. He might kill someone. He woke up in the morning and went right back to bed. <laughs> like instant, like he slept all night, woke up, and went right back to bed. It's like, all right, this is trash. I don't want it on the main feed. He's not doing it, he's just sleeping there. And then a rebellion starts that people want Clemmer. <laughs> all right, so you you pulling it makes total sense. It was horrible. But then you said, if it trended for an hour, yeah. it's going back on you, it. It fucking did, trended yeah. for an hour. You did not hold your word on that. You did not hold your word no. on that. No, Chris fucking Clemmer was the number one trend in the United States well, for like with, five with, hours. With all due respect, with all due respect to Clemmer, you could have done any name and it would have trended. Like you guys were pumping it so hard. So people think shutting off Clemmer's stream is extremely mean. That's what the perception is on the internet. And yeah, I get that. But at the same time, like Clemmer's goal is just to be in there a hundred hours. So I think in the end, he won't be too upset because he accomplished his goal and he'll see that this was trending number one nationwide. Everyone was talking about it. So I think 
it's a win-win for Clemmer. Yeah, Dave going against him has kind of turned him into a sympathetic figure. Now he's like Nelson Mandela in prison. <laughs> right, like right, everyone's right. like, free him, let him, let him have the stream. No, totally. So like, he has more, it, it's he has a win-win for Clemmer. This is, I mean, this is what people want. This is what the uprising is for. This is it all day. <laughs> this is sometimes. <laughs> oh, look at the yawn. Look at the yawn. I gotta do what's better for the greater good. If you that's got, live. If you got rid of that microphone. Oh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, what'd you, no, no, back no. Back. This, this is what I'm talking about, this is what I'm talking about, this is what they want, this is what the people no. want, <laughs> he moved the book, he just moved the book, this is, well, this is, I, I know better than the people, this is, I can't have this, <laughs> 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 I heard on the other side of the office that they were kind of fucking with Clemmer. He's like directly under this building. And I guess there's like one spot in the office where if you like stomp really loud, he can hear. People were saying it was Morse code. It wasn't Morse code. He still doesn't know that he hasn't been live. But anyway, they were dropping bowling balls over there and Gia apparently like filmed Kelly Keeks' computer. Keeks basically on our back end of the, the blog put the stream. What she didn't know is that if you have the link to the stream, you don't need a login to get in there you could just preview it so she posted the link and then the phoenix office found found the link sure enough what it went they passed it around and everyone was watching the stream for like two three hours and then that's how you saw the dave clip of him just yelling at everybody so why the fuck did on kelly key's computer what the fuck are you doing wake the fuck up who fucking put it on the tv why What the fuck are you guys doing in that office? Just dicking around, playing with a bowling ball, watching? You're there to fucking work and make content. Wake the fuck up! I was, I wanted to scream at Nate. Nate sent me a phone number. I thought it was his, so I was like, ready to go. And then Gia picked up, but I couldn't lay off the brakes and just went nuts on that. New York had it on the TVs? Like, that's crazy. Why, like, like, Gia, no, it was on Kelly Keeg's computer. Ken Jack was making a video. Gia recorded it and panned over to Kelly Keeg's monitor, and it was a link that anybody could go to. Yeah, that's what ended up happening. These it, these people do not have access to anything that a random fan doesn't have access to. I don't know why they feel they do. It's like entitlement. Like, just stay out of the way and let me fucking make content without you fuckers screwing it up. But like Kelly Keegs, yeah. what are you doing in the middle of the day with that on your monitor watching it? Shouldn't you be fucking doing something productive or trying to? Why was the live stream on your computer at any point today? Why? Yeah, like you don't have things to do? Why? Why would you guys be messing around with any of it? Like why? What like that dropping a bowling ball to see like if Clemmer can hear you? Like why? Why not leave it alone when it has nothing to do with you? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I've heard what happened. It's like Gia saw a bowling ball and then scrolled to yours and gave away a live link that then gives out the whole stream. But it's like, it's like, why the fuck are you guys sitting around too? It's like, if I cut it, why are you guys watching? It's like, just don't fuck with it. Like, I don't, like, it almost makes it seem like you guys have absolutely nothing to do in that New York office. But it's like a glaring red flag that this is how, it, and I know you're being like five minutes or whatever, but like, I don't know, I just is, it's why anyone would risk fucking with this thing like right now is crazy to me, but yeah, which is what infuriates me because it's like something's building and hey, the people who don't have apparently enough to do, let's fuck around it with doing dumb shit and see if we can screw this up, which you did, so. All right, Ken Jack, it's Dave. I have a question. What, why were you trying to fuck? Like you're a big part of how this, how the stream got leaked. Obviously, what the fuck were you doing? Like to me, that's just a bunch of people sitting around with nothing to do, wasting time trying to fuck with something that they should definitely not be fucking with. We're building something that organically is great, and I have three people sit around trying to fuck with something that they have absolutely nothing to do with. Ended up really fucking it up. 
by posting a live URL, which I don't even know why you guys are sitting around wasting time. So again, I go to why? I mean, it's just crazy. It, it, it's like, it's not your content. You have nothing to do with it. Why are you trying to like fuck with the organic nature? Like even what you said, I want to fuck with him and see if he, like why? Isn't you have nothing to do with it. What do you mean did it do anything to mess with it? You guys gave out the fucking link to the stream that's down. If you're not doing it, if you're not the one, hey, let's see if he can fucking hear, it doesn't lead to, hey, Kelly Keynes, pull it up on your computer so we can watch to see if Clement reacts to Gia being like, huh, this is funny, so let me video, put like, it's all packaged together. All right, I, like, I guess we're not seeing eye to eye. Right, but all to me, it's like, it's just people not enough to do. That's what it is, that's what it screams to me. I got an office full of people, not nothing to do. So they're just gonna eventually you're gonna fuck with something. Yeah, like I would say, don't touch content that's not yours. Like, don't fuck with it. Don't get involved in it. Don't watch it. Just mind your own business. In the puzzle, there's gonna be a note that says, "Solve this puzzle." Sit by the t duct tape square facing the door to solve it. Uh, so we've got two puzzles. The first puzzle is Clemmer, top 10 trending, number one. And we're gonna put this note with the puzzle, solve the puzzle, do it in the duct tape square, face the camera. Uh, after he completes that, then we slide the second puzzle in with the same note. He completes that. Pretty easy. Will he do the puzzle? Who knows? I'm, I'm ready for it to be over, but I think Dave getting involved is, is best case scenario. I mean, now it's it's trending, it's popular. I think there's a ton of people waiting in the chat already, and it's like an hour before we go, so it should be an eventful day. All right, we got two puzzles for Clint to solve. This one that says he's the number one trending thing in the nation. This one that says Dave cut the stream. We're gonna have him solve this one. I'm gonna slide this one under the door and have him solve this one. I have a feeling when I slide the puzzle into the door, he's gonna try to like negotiate, like, why should I do this puzzle? Just like, just, just do it. Going up there. solves the puzzle. I'm sorry, I have to. I think he's gonna be furious at first and then see the humor. I think, I don't, I don't fucking know coming well enough to really know. The different textures, guys, that was the back of the puzzle. <laughs> Plummer started doing the puzzle upside down. Pieces were all upside down, which is, the first thing you do with the puzzle is flip all the pieces over right side up and then you do the edges. Clemmer started in the middle and had them all facing down. <laughs> Here we go, hey, look at that, number one. Number one, how about that? That's awesome. Thank you guys, thank you for putting the puzzle together too guys, it's very nice, very kind. Appreciate that very much, I love you guys. All right, great. I'd be lying if I said my brain was really cloggy from trying to put that puzzle together. I'm like mentally tapped out, it's just a sad statement. All right, Clemmer just completed his first puzzle. He found out he was the number one trending topic in the United States. We have an acceptance speech. He's sky high right now. He's about to get the second puzzle, which tells that his stream is cut off. I decided to cut the Clemmer stream. Oh, that's not good. But keep him... The 
this is too boring, let him sleep to himself. Hmm. I wasn't gonna quit anyway, Dave. Plumber. Yeah. To answer your question, you have been streaming to no one. Why would you do that? It was so boring, I couldn't take it. Oh. That is why you were trending, because <laughs> no one was watching. No one was watching? Zero. That is crazy. So the people didn't have my back. Goodbye. Then you can go to sleep. Oh, and I'm not going to sleep now. I'm awake. All right. I did it. Oh, well, I'm not going to until 2 o'clock anyway, no matter what. Took a nap. Everyone's against me. So it can't be, it's not two o'clock. It must be like 11.30 at the, or at the latest. Fuck, I don't know. I think we're just gonna leave him in there forever. He said he doesn't know if someone's gonna come get him. No. No. Of course people are gonna get him. What do you think is gonna live in there forever? He has no clock. Of course we're gonna get him. I'm leaving early, potentially. Feel bad for leaving early. But I don't need anything coming. It's not being strange. I'm leaving because I don't know what time it is. <laughs> I'm leaving now. I don't know talking to anybody right now. Oh, he left. It's over. He lost. What time is it? What time is it? He's out. He's out. It's over. He lost. Is he trying to go back in? You're out. I'm staying in solitary confinement. I'm staying in solitary confinement. What? I'm not going to be I'm just what? talking to your roots. <laughs> well, that, yep, that's exactly how we planned it. <laughs> this wasn't gone you before. Now you are. But you weren't gone before. I noticed that. And now you stopped, you come. You weren't gone you before. I noticed that a couple days ago. So we the streams back on. Yeah. Something's up. I stay. That's the kid! This is one slaveaholic fuck! That a boy clever! I'm not fucking leaving! <laughs> I'm staying till 2 o'clock. I ain't leaving. Made it this far, I'm not leaving early. I'm surprised Dave hasn't chimed in and said he's got to do the whole 100 hours again. Honor. Yeah. The committee has met and decided that you violated the rules of consolidary. No. Nope. Stepping outside of it. I did not. What you want to do is now is up to you, but the contest is over. I did not violate any rules. I disagree with that. I didn't see a single person. Stay. So originally in the meetings, there's a bathroom in that hallway, and if his first bathroom clogged or it wasn't good, uh, he'd have to go to the hallway bathroom. So the oh, wait, hallway, I think in his mind, is a gray area that, that like, but yeah, the, I think he thinks the hallway is a gray area. Do you agree? Not, not in this sense, because his bathroom is still working. By the way, I didn't see anybody when I went into the hall. I saw a, uh, a camera and like a shadow is who I was yelling at. So I still, 
very much solitary confinement. I did not see a, I did not see a person. I heard movement. And I saw like a camera like peek. They did not answer me when I said what time is it. There's no answer. They kind of like scurried like, hmm, that was so something's up. And the deal was I would go downstairs. If I go downstairs, it's out. So I didn't even touch a stair. So I'm good there. Honestly, if there was no one, if there was no camera guy there, I think I would have went downstairs. I don't know. In his head, he, in head, his head, he definitely thinks the hallway's a gray area. So Clemmer went to the edge of the stairs and saw someone with the, the free cam. So Dave sent everybody out of the control room, everybody upstairs. So upstairs. Three. Is he gonna like attack two, the person that comes to get him? One. <laughs> um. Needed some type of sound. Something? What? So. <laughs> I think everybody over there's gone home. Somebody go get him. Wait. Someone has to go get Somebody him. Somebody go get him. This is now torture. Where's Vibs? What is. What's he doing? Oh no. It's past 2 p.m. You're free to go. Oh! It's past 2? Thank God. This is a joke. I have to trust them. I have to believe it's past two. I have to have faith. I'm gonna believe them. They lie, they lie. I believe it's past two. If not. So Dave, everyone was expecting Dave to tell him he, to get out. Yeah. But Dave said he was done with him. That being said, at two, it should so have been over. Yeah, that was two conflicting. Uh, yeah. He's out. Oh, Dave. What? Is, so is everyone done crying on the yak to get this guy out? <laughs> Bar pussy. You guys could call this uh, yak pussy. Well, he like should have gotten. Of, he should have I mean, get the out. man out. That's he pretty good. Get the, pussy. get the man the out. You're like a fucking purse. Pussy. Yak the pussy guy's is pretty good. On his own free Dave, will. Dave, I've been on. I've been with you lockstep the entire time, this Wednesday. But once it hit a hundred, you got to let him out. You guys are the softest little <laughs> fucking pussies. I've ever met. He can walk out whenever the fuck he wants. He didn't fucking know that, you idiot. What do you mean he didn't know that? He, what do you think we had guns outside the door? He thought he thought you were gonna get mad at him. He didn't know what he was walking into. Shut the fuck up, you <laughs> pussy. You'd still be in your fucking idiotic basement. You don't know the I first. fucking you know, wish fuck. I was, you ugly fuck. You fucking idiot. You fucking pussies! Me and Whitney are laughing like this is the biggest bunch of pussies at a company I've ever met. It's his idea. He knows he can leave whenever he wants. I don't give a fuck. He I didn't give know a fuck that. About this. Well, I wish he was still going. I wouldn't have stopped it. Who stopped it? You who decided? Who decided to stop it? <laughs> I whoa, him. whoa, whoa! We're losing it. All right, wait. So Dave, he left. If, oh, he, he left. left. <laughs> Did 100 hours, I am out. If you say 97, you're full of shit. I absolutely stayed 100 hours. I never went down the stairs. That's the proof. I did it. <laughs> Here's a story of a thin man clamor who decided to lock himself up for 100 hours straight. He tried to do stream it all day, but people were bored to tears. <laughs> He should have done those challenges. Except he, he quit after two minutes. Because he, he was frustrated. I was counting and he was losing his mind. Oh, he did it for absolutely nothing. <laughs>